stopped again, so I'll carry on. This one is by Book of London. This one has a uh, no, I don't. I don't know what the bed angle is. I would have to um, take it with an instrument, but it's higher than the other one. This one's only got three dovetails, so it's got a tongue and groove joint there. Very small plane for a miter plane. Right, who's this one by? Oh, this one's by Towel. As I explained in the earlier video, this one's got a tongue and groove joint, which Towel normally did. So it's got two dovetails in, f in the front part, and three in the rear. This one is 21 degrees. Oh, another point while I think about it. Very often, the, when you get these old miter planes, the wedges are damaged one way or another, but this one I've just bought is exceptional for having the original detail. And I notice this is the only one might have been, I've ever noticed that instead of being round, really round, uh, it's got a square. I don't know whether you can see that. Uh, other mate, Towel didn't do that. This is by Altsaffle. So that's another re another thing. And also, it's extremely rounded there. Most wedges are rounded there, and uh, a lot have Cupid bow dovetails. But Holtzaffel is different from Tower in that respect. Very rounded. I also, also somebody commented on saying the uh, Cupid bow on the bridge of the Holtzaffel looks very similar to a towel but there is a difference i've noticed this over the years towel exaggerates that angle there more so in those two positions than it does elsewhere this one isn't like that it's uniform not by towel towel on all the towel mitre planes i've seen and i don't think there are any exceptions there might be but I don't recollect any. The front infill on a towel mitre plane is always longer than a book or a Spears or whoever else made them at that time. The mouth is always set further back from the front, giving a bigger infill. Towel did that in difference. That's another point. What else can I explain? I think I said this one's 21 degrees. There's one on the back. Oh, this is another one. Oh no, this is, uh, looks like a copy of the one I talked about earlier. That's just happened to be in my folder. Out of a tenon sword. Uh, now then, this one is by Holtzaffel. 28 degrees bed. And this one, I noticed, it, this is a very early drawing I did, and I weren't taking a lot of notice in them days. It appears to have had a square wedge. I've drawn round the existing wedge, and I've drawn it round because that's what I use did at that period of time. That's another th feature I've just mentioned that uh, Tower didn't do. This is Old Zaffle. Right. Now what's this one? Oh, this one is by Book. This was an interesting plane. It had an upturned front grip. That shape. I've just guessed at that. I've put guesswork. It was virtually that shape. And I've seen no more than three, if three, it might have been two, by book that have had an upturned front. Nice feature, you can grip that when you're using it. This one is 21 degrees bed. 
and only three dovetails. Tom and Groove again there. What's this one? Oh, this one is a Norris uh, number 11. I think there's only one of these ever been found. There might be two. I made some copies of it. That's another story. Um, this one is 27 degrees bed. Uh, I obviously couldn't see the dovetails. They were invisible, so I haven't drawn them in. But there'd be two there and one there. I've noticed this a lot on Norris's. Oh, and incidentally, while I think about it, on the old Zaffel plane, I'll try and show you. I don't know whether you can see the dovetails. There's one there, and there's one there, and there's three in the back. I'm just pointing, I can't see them very well. There's one there, one there, and one there. Two at the front. Now, Interesting thing about this particular plane, the gap between the two dovetails is very small. Much smaller than a towel plane or a Norris plane or most other miter planes I've looked at. Another feature why I don't think it's made by towel. Also, again, this is thinner than normal, the sole, than a towel plane. This one only measures thickness five thirty seconds of an inch. Towels, although it's not uniform, are generally a bit thicker. So that's about all I can tell you at the moment. I can't think of much more to tell you. Uh, oh, and this, 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 ah, uh, this point here, it's a solid piece of rosewood in the front and infill, which is quite common by towel and other makers. I have seen towel where they've laminated rosewood with rosewood but that was a one-off plane. But the rear infill is normally beach with a rosewood top or all rosewood. This one by Holtzaffel is mahogany. A piece of mahogany with a rosewood veneer on the top. That's again a bit unusual. And while I've got this infill out, you can see how they were roughly shaped beyond what you see to get them to fit. It's a fiddly game to get them to fit really accurately, but it shows you the marks where they've worked it. So that's about it. Oh, this, this plane is marked TG, a JG on the front infill. It's also stamped on the front and on the back, but you can hardly see it. I think it's just the owner's name. I'd like to think it was John Green. He could have made the plane, but I don't think it is. That's just wishful thinking. Oh, and um, Andy Brown told me that this plane sold one in the early, sold in a very early catalogue. I used to have all these catalogues. I've no longer got them. But he refreshed my memory that this plane sold 30 years ago in auction for £210 and I've just paid with commission 3300 plus. And I told Andy my big wavy topped bronze mitre plane that I've owned four times, bought back four times, I bought that originally about 30 years ago when this was in auction say from a from a friend of mine and that only cost me 300 pound all those years ago but now i bought it back the fourth time it cost me four thousand <laughs> so they do go up in value oh and the iron in the holzaffel i think it's an early iron because it's by iron h sorby but it hasn't got the hanging fleece underneath. Uh, you know, most of these irons have the hanging fleece underneath. And I found it to be exceptionally odd metal to partly sharpen the other day. I think that's original and it isn't nibbed as the early ones weren't. That's it. 
Paul, um, again, m most of the towel planes either have ward irons or I sorby. This is I and H sorby, a different maker. That's it, folks.